Good morning. It is Thursday. Thursday, and that means uh, we have our block period and that lovely fourth period. I can't wait. <laughs> Oh, another opportunity to inspire young musicians. We'll see how that goes today. Come on, people. Oh my god, you idiots. Look at this one, cutting. Well, it's a good thing we don't have cameras here because that van would have gotten a ticket for running the red. Oh, which reminds me, I have a ticket for running the red when I didn't even run the red. Uh, this happened on the way to court to pay a ticket. On the way to pay a ticket, I got another ticket for running the red when I didn't run the red. This guy was on my tail. I was on, I was in a car and I went into the crosswalk a little bit and it flashed. So these stupid people that review this shit thought, oh, that's valid. Mm -hmm. She went into the crosswalk a little bit. So we'll say that she ran a red light. $500 ticket? I don't think so. So I pleaded not guilty and I have to go into court in November because I pushed it out that way just so I could get that video that they have. But according to them, they don't let that kind of stuff go. So I could show it in court on their website so I could show it in court. And that will be my proof. I also have pictures that they sent me, so that was good. But I mean, if you look at the pictures, you obviously know I didn't run the red. Instead of just saying, okay, let's, you know, let's not uh, charge this person with that, they waste my time. I have to have, wait you know, luckily on Monday, we had it off because of the storm. Otherwise, I would have had to take a personal necessity day for that shit. It's like... I want a personal necessity day for the shit that I really need to to do for myself, not fucking stupid ass court shit that shouldn't be. I shouldn't have gotten that ticket. And the asshole behind me should have got the ticket because he was tailgating me the whole time. He just let up at the last few minutes when I had to come to a stop, but you see him right directly behind me. Hmm. For their stupid mistake, I am going to have to pay $25 court fee. Not go to work that day, of course. And these assholes, man. Crazy. You're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Fucking dumbass. See? See that? It's luckily I'm not uh, one of those people that just take off really fast and not look around. And assholes. Just the thing to start off my morning, right? Maybe I should turn his license plate into the police since I do the police officer's job every day. I should turn in all the license plates and fucking people who cut me off, especially those Teslas. Ooh, driving their little computer around like this one. Ew comes another one. Yeah. And there's a Kia. <laughs> oh, I see a fellow rider up ahead. I hate this freeway. So damn bumpy. Bump, 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 bump. It's like bouncing up and down. It's like, what? I can smooth this shit out. Look at that hat. The helmet, excuse me. Not the hat. It's shiny like a marble. What's up, man? Oh, he's really focused. He won't even look my way. Ride your own ride, man. Ride your own ride. I forgot to charge my phone and it's gonna go out. Oh, it's a nice day for a ride for sure. I love this. Nice and gloomy. I gotta get over Ooh, Honda. There you go. Switching places. Musical lanes. I don't want to be sitting in anybody's blind spot. God forbid. Why do those trucks have their rear view, uh, not the rear view mirrors, but their side mirrors? 
out so far like this white truck I mean it's not like he's got a trailer behind him I don't get it I don't get it we have a four-day weekend coming up but I think um, I think we're off Friday and Monday for Labor Day or something um, the thing is is that I really don't feel like taking another day off for this stupid ear problem I'm having so I might just do it on the day that we have off that Friday and see if I could get in there I gotta do something about this ear I can't stand it I freaking hate it man I was telling Alan about this yesterday and he's like it doesn't sound so bad I'm like dude are you joking me I have ringing in my ear and it's muffled I can't even hear it feels like it's getting worse instead of better even with the medication and and he was like well I kind of understand what you're saying now and I was like I mean I basically can't hear out of one ear and he's like yeah he goes it's like when my earbud runs out of charge in one ear he's like I hate it he's like Ugh. he's like I just take it out and I'm like exactly nothing's in stereo anymore it sucks I hate it it's really hard to teach like this too I hate doing attendance also it's like calling on somebody I'm like did you say here are you here who is that who? and I'm just getting to know all these kids so it's like I don't know faces and names yet but it's even harder when you only have one ear working. Don't do it, dummy. <laughs> uh, idiots. Watch the other one. The other dummy do it. Uh, of course. Because you guys are dumb. Dumb. And dumb. And another one. Idiots. And another one who's an idiot. Really. Wow, you are something else. Jeep. Asshole. Uh, another one. Mm -hmm. Couldn't wait for the broken line, could you? Idiot. Now I know what, uh, well, I knew back then too, but not as much. People going over this line and he said, I got, he started taking, um, he started carpooling and then he also started, uh, taking the metro because he said I'm tired of getting cut off by cars but he's riding his bike again um, the thing with the metro is I could take the metro look at I could take that right I'd have to do three transfers but I could do it <laughs> not that difficult but it's not all it's cracked up to be in fact a lot of people are getting uh, robbed and attacked and it's really bad so it's pretty scary you guys it's not it's not safe you know they don't have the kind of security that they really should have is this guy gonna come or what what's this guy gonna do they need better security they need police officers with guns and stun guns and all that stuff they need like a legit police officer uh, and I know they do kind of hang out there but they need more they need more uh, our school is directly next to Metro like literally next door to it so it would be super easy for me to do that but again it's not safe we've had students We've had to tell our students do not hang out in that area because one of our students was attacked there. This homeless lady um, was trying to take her backpack and pulled a knife out on her, grabbed the backpack and took off. And she fought the homeless person. She fought her. I know this girl. She's, she's a tough girl, but she could have gotten killed. Uh, a backpack is not worth look at this dummy oh I'm just gonna take my sweet time so everybody could see me go across the line illegally ding dong mm. I had to we all had to tell our students don't 
ever. I know you got valuables and things like that, but nothing could be worth your life. So don't try to fight anybody off if they take things or whatever. So we tell the kids don't hang out there. Don't, don't, look at the blues out today. Don't hang out there. It's dangerous. Uh, they finally, they finally got, uh, yeah, I know. They finally got the uh, encampment uh, that they had there out. We had a whole encampment that was in front of our school, on the side of our school, in front of our school, and across the street. And it was bad, you guys. I mean, they were prostituting, doing drugs. It was really, really bad. And our students are all around that. That's wrong. You can't. Ugh. That's really bad. I mean, I hated even going out to lunch. I was like, if I had to step outside this building, I need to be a, really aware of my surroundings because these people are crazy. They always stop you for money, and if you don't give them anything, they get pissed. They'll, like, do crazy shit, you know? Get mad. Or if you say, you know what, I'll buy you a sandwich. I don't want a sandwich. What would I want a sandwich for? I don't want a sandwich. Just give me money. I'll get what I want. Really? <laughs> yeah, really bad. But they finally got that out. Our other principal fought really hard to do that and to have more police presence and it happened and it was good there's not as many once in a while you'll get some crazies but overall it's not what it used to be it's a lot safer as safe as you can be in this area I am not sure what's going on with traffic today but all of a sudden, it's all stopped up over here. Get out of my way, Tesla. You moved. Thank you. Something must have happened. Damn, look at all that trash. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. BMW. Damn, no more music. My phone charge is depleted. Hey, man, come on. Let me in. Thank you. Thank you. I swear this is like playing Frogger. You guys don't remember Frogger, I bet. It's a little frog going across the street, or across the freeway. It was a game in the 80s. It was fun. That, Centipede, Pac-Man, those, those were fun. Stupid idiot. Idiot. I swear to God, I wish I could rev up this engine. I would be revving up all the time every chance I get. Instead, I gotta use this weak, stupid horn. I hate the horn. No beef to it. Come on, move. Move. Yeah. Thank you. Pay attention to your surroundings, people. Put down your guac toast. Your guac toast and your Starbucks for a second and pay attention. What the hell happened today? Ew. Tesla. It's 7.50, man. I gotta get to the exit by eight. Oh. What I love about my bike, cutting through the traffic. Oh, this is so nice, you guys. I know it's frustrating with these cars. But, oh, it's even more frustrating when you're sitting in the traffic. Oh, it's awful, 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 awful. Hey, you know what, you guys? I'm thinking of getting that, uh, that Alpine Star 5 System airbag vest. I'm seriously thinking about it. It's about 700, 700 clams there, but you know what? I'll feel a lot safer with it. And if some shit happens, at least that shit will go off and protect something. My spine, whatever. There's a lady at work. Her son was driving a motorcycle for four years. And this guy, this older man, he was driving and he was getting off the freeway. And 
he went across like all the lanes to get off because he was trying he was trying to get his exit because he was gonna miss it and he clipped the back tire of this motorcycle of her son's motorcycle and he's paralyzed he's been paralyzed for a long time and she's um she works there she works at her school part-time and then she takes care of him the rest of the time it's really sad I was wondering what was going on with her because she would say like, oh my gosh, be careful. I pray for you every time you get on your bike. And I was like, oh my gosh, like why is she so freaked out? Now I know because of what happened to her son. It's so sad. I was like, damn, that's awful. Gosh, I hope somebody didn't get killed this morning. I really hope nobody got killed this morning. This is really bad. I know some shit happened up there. Let me check my mirrors to see if anybody's here. Thank you, Tesla. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, thank you. 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 Of course, you're an idiot. Are you done getting into that stupid fucking lane and going nowhere? Idiot. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Shit, man, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Everybody's gonna be late today. Except for me. <laughs> uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. If nobody gets crazy on me and hits me. 7.58. Thank you. Focus, focus, focus. Look at this dummy. Who? What? Oh. Let me put down my Starbucks. Thanks, man. Oh, let me put down my phone for a second. I see a dangerous motorcycle coming. They're dangerous. They're very dangerous. They're very reckless. Look at, look at how fast they go past us. I wonder why. I wonder why. This dummy. Getting away from dangerous you. Yes. See, people don't pay attention. I think my dad, my dad was a, a truck driver, an 18-wheeler truck driver. I like to think my dad would be proud of me that I'm driving a bike. I don't know. He might, he might be mad, actually, <laughs> that I chose to do this because, oh man, please tell me nobody's dead. That's what all this is about? That? What? Um, I don't know. He might be mad at me. Like, what are you doing? Why are you riding a bike? What are you doing that for? You're gonna get killed out there. I could totally hear him, his voice and everything saying that. Or, well, you better be careful out there. It's really dangerous. Potato one. I don't know. I think... It, him being upset is more the reaction because, I don't know, he was always like, watch the car behind you when you back out, things like that, you know, all the time. Watch, hey, there's a there's a car right there, you gotta watch out. Uh, they're always parking over there, they're always parking over there, and you gotta watch out, there's a car right there, and it's like, we see it, Dad, I mean, come on, it's like, we're not dumb. Yeah, I don't know if he'd be so happy about this. He'd think I was crazy, basically. <laughs> but my dad was a really good driver when he wasn't drinking. <laughs> he was a really good driver. Um, yeah, he, I mean, we would go on vacations every summer, and he would drive his old truck, and we'd all jump in the back. And Yeah, the good old days. He'd always have a can of Budweiser between his legs, and we'd be going up. Up into the mountains. Uh, those were the days when, you know, things were not, that wasn't looked upon as that bad. But he had really great driving skills. And I like to think I have those same skills. My mom, I mean, I've taken her on road trips and things, and she says, You're just like your father. You drive just as good. You're such a good driver. And that's nice. 
it's different on a bike, of course, but you know, it's a it's a big learning curve for sure on this bike. That's why you gotta practice every day. Practice, practice every single day. Go ahead, dummy. Nice move, Prius. That was slick. Boy, lots of traffic today, I tell ya. I tell ya. Look at the highway patrol man. Well, hello there. <laughs> Cruising around. That's nice. Wow. Nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is LA for you. Right there. These people all should be in a home. They should all be in a home. Nobody should have to live like that. Well, I worked in an area that was even worse than this area, which is um, Santa Monica. I worked out there for a while when I was in college, and oh man, oh man, that was pretty bad. But you know, they had a homeless shelter, which was actually pretty nice. And um, I knew somebody that was living there that was going to the college. And... She said it wasn't too bad. Oh, I like that rolling stop, dude. That's nice. Wow. Who taught you that? Yeah, it was... She said it wasn't bad, and... I don't know if that place is still there, but... That Santa Monica was just like... I don't remember what happened with that place. Something happened. I don't know if it closed down, and then they were... Pushing everybody out to go towards... Downtown... They basically wanted everybody out of Santa Monica that was homeless because Santa Monica is more of a, oh gosh, I don't know, posh neighborhood, I guess you'd say. Um, a lot of money. Uh, they don't want to see homeless people in, their f in front of their businesses and whatever. Well, nobody wants to see that. I mean... They don't want to see it because it's like it makes them look bad. It's like, oh, I've got a homeless person sitting in front of my boutique. <laughs> oh, just ignore them. Just step over them. They try to push them all out, but it's like, what are you? You're just gonna push the problem somewhere else, huh? Round and around we go. <sighs> okay, finally, let's go. Come on. All right, uh, lady. Where are you going? Push the problem somewhere else. How about fix the problem? Fix the problem. Kind of reminds me of my work. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the problems at my work. I'd love to fix the problem at my work. But in order to fix problems with students who don't want to learn and are very undisciplined. And by the way, you guys, I spent eight years in the Army Reserves. Thank you. I like discipline. I just happen to like it. And I think it's good. But, you know, if you have somebody who's trying to keep things manageable in the class, keep everybody learning, you have to add that discipline in. You have to be like, hey, you know, you have to be somewhat, not necessarily strict, but consistent you know and that's the problem you we don't get that we only have that on one end that's on our end right so if I have parents that aren't just like hey I'm too busy to be dealing with my son who's acting like an idiot in your class and you know there's only so much I could do then you're not gonna get very far you need the parents on board and uh, stupid Tesla um, you need the parents on board. You need to be like, okay, yes, I agree. You know, like, let's, let's get my son going here. And we'll support you at home while you do this at school. But some parents don't want to do it. They just are like, huh, send them to school. And some of these kids, they literally stay there till 5 o'clock in the evening because they're in after school programs because sometimes it's because well parents are working okay we got 
nobody's home at that time or whatever. And then other times it's just like, I don't want to deal with him. I don't want to deal with my kid. You deal with him. I'm going to keep him there till the after school program till 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock, whatever. And uh, you guys deal with him. Yeah. I've seen that happen in elementary school too when I taught elementary. Leaving it all up to educators and after school programs which can be good and it can be positive but if you're using it just to like get out of your parental responsibilities I mean <laughs> it's like god dang man come on you think your kid doesn't know that <laughs> that must not be a nice feeling for the child you're getting dumped on other people come on 8 15 damn it could be that long to get here I guess it did the spooky garage the dingy, dim, spooky garage. I need more light. All right. Home away from home. Yesterday, somebody, these two cars, like, were right here past the line. I could barely get out. And you know what? They weren't Teslas, surprisingly. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Well, enjoy your Thursday. It's almost Friday. It's almost Friday. Hang in there. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye.